So common character count. Uh, given two strings, find the number of common characters between them. Um, for S1, we've got double A, B, double C, and S2, A, D, C, double A. Um, output should be three, and that's because we've got two A's between them and also one C. So one key thing we need to make sure is we're not... So we've got two C's here, one C here. We're not sort of counting this C twice for that one C. Um, we'd need to instantly, we know we need to have a counter because we're counting. And we also need to mutate one of the arrays. Um, and I believe because we're mutate, we have to do let because we're changing the, um, the value. So say let um, array one or array S1 is equal to um, S1 and let's turn that into a uh, turn that into an array. So what split will do is every single um, say every character will be split. Just can't start log. Array S1, it'll sort of be split and have it be, be, be its own element, it's like this. Um, now we've got that, weighing how we're going to sort of, um, I guess, mutate the array is um, with pop. I'm not too sure I'd be able to show you like this. Oh, okay, it just does the end one, yeah. Uh, yeah, so for instance, no, I'm not going to be able to stuff that. Oh, actually, I will. Uh, console log array s1. So what this will do is it will have one less c on the end because we've popped it off. So the original array was double a b double c. We've taken c off, and now we ended up with double a b c. So eventually, this will go through a a loop, and um, it will pop each individual element off and um, we'll use that element to compare it to the um, S2 string um, then eventually there'll be no elements to um, pop off and that's where our loop will end. What I mean is um, we'll do a, um, a while loop so for instance while um, the array S1 dot length so we'll do it like this for now. It's greater than zero, but we, we don't need to do that, but I'll just show. Um, array with S1 dot length is greater than zero. Um, and then if we do const uh, x is equal to array S1 dot pop, this um, value or this element here will now be sort of um, will equal x. So if I do console.log um, x, um, take that out, take that out, put that, mm, okay, yeah, put that there and then put that there. And then we run the while loop. Um, oh, I've done too many console logs. But what you should, oh, s1. Split console log const x. Oh, I see what I've done. Yeah. Oh, I haven't done this. There we go. So it was an infinite loop. That's why. So now what you can see is the array goes in. We've already actually popped the C off, which is what X is. Oh, that's not a good example there. Um, and then we have that again. Yeah, no, that isn't a good example. Let's just take one of these off and put that there. So our array goes in, we pop a C off, that C is now X, and I don't know why I've got that one. Oh yeah, and then the next array goes in, and then we're gonna pop another C off, which is this one here, and so on and so forth until the length of the array is gonna equal zero. So then 
the loop is going to stop and it's not going to happen again. But what we can actually do is because the array is going to equal zero, uh, zero is like a falsy value and one is a truthy value. So um, by just doing array s1 uh, dot length, as soon as that length of the array is equal to zero, it's going to be falsy or like false. So it, that, that means a loop won't happen. Uh, we'll take these console logs away. So now we know that x is going to equal the um, the last element in this array, and it's going to take that element out of that array. Um, we can say um, actually we're going to have to mutate this string as well. Um, if we say uh, rubbish with names. I don't want to say array, string s2, that makes sense. Um, I ain't got a freaking clue. Think of something, just say, oh, y, I ain't got a clue. y um, is equal to s2. Um, and then what we want to do is if uh, s2 includes um, x. So basically, if x is in the string of s2, we want to do the following, which will be uh, our counter, because we now know um, this value x, the x value is within the s2 string. And now we need to sort of take that value out of the s2 string so then it isn't recounted. So for instance, with S1 here, we've got C, and then we've got C here, so it would go through the if statement. And then the next value would be C, but be, we need to make sure we've taken this C value out so it doesn't do a double count. And a way in how we can do this is say Y is now equal to Y.replace and what replace will do is it won't do all of the characters, it will just do the first character it comes across. Um, so for us, it would be, um, say here, C, do the if statement. It would now replace this C, which is of currently the value of X, and we can just replace it with um, just an empty value, an empty string. Not an empty string, just with a space. And it will just get rid of the character. <laughs> uh, so if we just go through, yeah, let's go through console log, uh, y, run the tests. And as you can see here, it sort of just gets rid of the character. So it doesn't even put a space, it just gets rid of it. Um, and now what we have to do is return counter. Let's just get rid of that. And it hasn't worked. Why has it not worked? Oh, goodness me. Output is four. The expected output is three. A, A. See, so what are we doing here then? Um, cancel log, make sure x is doing what it's meant to do. And it is. Counter plus plus, what's going on here? Actually, let's do console log x. Oh, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it. It's not s2, it's y, because we're double counting. I'm literally doing the one thing which I was trying to avoid. There we go. So if y, which is the string which we're going to mutate, um, includes x, 
counter and then y equals y dot replace x with an empty sort of value or empty string which will then just delete it um, and then return the counter. So yeah, that's how you do the common character count.